Surfing since he was two years old, he's widely considered the best big wave surfer in the world. He also co-produced and stars in the new movie, Riding Giants. Please welcome Laird Hamilton. I'm loving the hair, by the way. You got the little uh, thing it's, going. That's great. Took all day to get it. Oh, trust like me, this. I know. Uh, <laughs> I know. I got mayonnaise in here. Um, so much to talk about. First of all, we're going to show a piece of uh, a footage in a second that I was watching today. I think I watched it like 30 times and it blew my mind. But I want to set this up first. You're uh, most famous probably for riding this wave that's in Chupu, which is yep. an area in Tahiti. Yeah, on right? the island of Tahiti. On the island of Tahiti. And you look at this wave, and I don't think I've seen a wave like this before. Describe why this wave was so dangerous in the first place. Well, it, it breaks on a barrier reef, mm -hmm. and it, the reef has an extremely uh, steep angle. Right. And so when the swell comes in, the whole wave stands up, and you, you literally have, um, like, the entire ocean behind the wave. Right. So it's so not the, wave the height is, of it. It's, it's the thickness of the wave. Yeah, and it's, a, I mean, it's a little bit literally like the parting of the Red Sea. When you see Moses walking down, and there's like a, a wall, and then the right. level of water, and that's the volume you have coming behind okay. on a coral reef that's as sharp as a cheese grater. You touch it, you get, you get shredded. So what would happen if you had wiped out on this wave, do you think? I just would have been torn in, in pieces. You'd have been you know, killed. And possibly smashed my head. I, a guy died actually three months earlier at that spot, got half of his head torn off and, and was, was, it was, it was. All right, let's take a look at this footage right now. <laughs> yeah, the audience is like, okay, we're ready to see it now. Uh, this is the wave. This is you. Are you thinking at this moment, yes. I've got to try and get out of here? I, I wanted, I'm thinking I want to jump off. And you I, want and I'm having an inner battle like jump. No, you can't make it unless you stay on. Right. And then you just kind of evolve to, the, to where you go, okay. Now it looks like you wipe out and you, it was, it's at one point it's like you almost disappear and then you come shooting out the other side. Yeah, we call that spitting. It's when a wave is so cylindrical that when it squeezes, the air can only come out the end. And right. it'll actually blow you off. It'd be like if you got shot with a fire hose and you weren't ready. Right. It'd just flap you on the ground. I've been shot with a fire hose. I know it's the last line. Were you ready? <laughs> yeah. And that frat fraternity did not accept me. Uh, um, but so, so, so you're in that situation when, when you were done riding that wave. I mean, fortunately, they, that, that was recorded, yes. beautifully recorded. Yes. You were emotionally drained after that. I mean, you yes. almost feel like your, your, your life is in the balance when you're, when you're riding a wave like that. Yes. Uh, you know, I think that you, you know, I knew something like that existed. Right. I never had, I hadn't seen it. Right. And then to experience it, it'd be like if you just worked your whole life to, you know, win a, uh, some tournament or do some achievement that right. go right. to the moon and then you arrive there and you're sitting there and you just have completed it. Right. And it just, I guess, over, I was overcome with emotions and, right. and, uh, and shed a tear of, of maybe thankfulness that I survived and, and sure and, I would think and, so and, and, you know and joy that I'd actually experienced it you love bad weather uh, surfers in general do but if you hear that there is a hurricane coming towards the coast for you that's good news you want to get out there and be in the water well do something kite it windsurf it kite it what's kite it mean well there's we use uh, it's a new sport called kite surfing where you get drugged by a, a kite on a board I thought you said drugged first. Well, like, yeah. You're drugged, then yeah. strapped to a kite. <laughs> Put it over the head of the board. Sign me yeah. up. Uh, but just, yeah, I just really <laughs> admire the power of nature in its, right. in its, you know, in its essence. Is there a wave, can you imagine a wave that you would not want to surf that was too big or too dangerous? Do you think it, it, it's possible? You know, I, I don't, I, I can't imagine that. I, I would, it's probably not on this Two planet. 200, this planet. 200 feet high, made I, of, I it's, it. okay, it's made of lava, it's not water. <laughs> Can I, can I have a, a and fireproof suit There on? are sharks in it with shotguns trying to... <laughs> that sounds exciting. <laughs> God, I can't. And now i got to make that happen. I want to see it happen. You're constantly trying to invent new ways. Did you once put handlebars uh, on a surfboard to try and... Well, some friends and I actually mounted a bicycle to the, to the deck of a board. We thought we could do some BMX tricks on the way. It wouldn't look as cool, though. If that yeah. same footage, look, that footage we just yeah. saw looked so cool. If we saw the same footage and you were on a bike with streamers and a banana seat going yeah. like that <laughs> would not be good. I wouldn't like it as much. It would not be good. And wearing the bike after if you fell would definitely not be good. Now, I'm told there's a hierarchy in, in the lineup. In, in the lineup in surfing, meaning that it's there's a lot of dominance going yeah. on and that the order is set. I've never surfed before in my life. I show up on the beach, I've got my my board and it's got, you know, scrappy do on it or whatever. <laughs> and I show up and I want to go oh. do, do the do, do the now, big... do you have any friends when you go there? 
No, it's just me. Oh, no one knows you. No one knows me. Uh, good luck. Yeah, so, so what would happen? <laughs> I'd be ostracized by the other surfers, or is it is it just the biggest, best surfer gets to choose the first wave? Is that right? Well, it's just there's only so many waves, and you have a lot of people, and so there's just, it's it, you know, it's like precious jewels, and the, the top guys are going to get their pick, and then there's the scraps for everybody else, and you have to just work your way up. You know, when you first start, you'll be on the very inside, at the very end, right? you know, at the, you know, on the first step sort of the ladder. Sort of like in the kiddie pool, right. At the kiddie pool. Okay, so what happens if Laird Hamilton, the once-in-a-lifetime wave is coming up, you're, you're just getting set to ride it, and suddenly I cut in front of you, <laughs> wearing short shorts and a beanie, and I'm like, woo, and I get in your way and interrupt. Uh, do I get a beating afterwards? What happens? Well, not from me, but probably the entire lineup will beat you up after so that. So they would follow me back to my little beach buggy and then beat the crap out of me. Well, no, actually, you would fall first and then... <laughs> <laughs> then drag me out of the water and then if pound you, me. If you weren't drowned, you know, if you hadn't drowned by then, they... They would drown they, me. Yes. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, is there traff... Unless tra I said, no, that's my friend, stop. Yeah, please I, say I that. Said, please catch the wave. I don't think you'd do that if I you'd just ruined surprised. everybody's day in a beanie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I know Laird! <laughs> Uh, Don't harm me. Um, <laughs> is there trash talking in, in uh, surfing? Is there? Do, do yeah, people I, try and psych each other out? Well, I mean, in surfing, it's more like you miss. It's never been talked about, and um, there's some there's some dialogue that goes down. Like any like any competitive sport, you're gonna have, you know. Right. Some dialogue. Right, right. I can imagine. Because it's, it's always funny because you always imagine that surfing is so zen and yeah. cool and almost yeah. seems like it has a hippie element and then you look into it and you realize that oh, no. there's a real toughness and an aggression and there's almost like a, it's like street gangs battling each other. Yeah, especially in small surf. Right. When the waves are small, you know, we have a saying that somebody will fight you for a two-foot wave but they're going to give you a 20-footer because when the surf gets giant, right. everybody's... In jeopardy, so they're all real friendly. No, oh, you go. No, it's please have this one. So it gets friendly as it gets. <laughs> oh no, yeah. it's made of lava. No, yeah. You're a shirt with shotguns. <laughs> you, no, you. Yeah. So it is. I get it. I get it. Uh, it's all very cool. Riding giants, uh, which is an amazing movie, is now playing in select cities. Laird, thanks for being here. Yeah, very my, cool to have you on the show. Pleasure. Laird Hamilton will be right Thank back with Deep Well. Stick around.